feet together. Three, two, good morning and welcome to Sensei's Backyard Dojo. Today I thought we'd do a little a bit of an extension on some blocking techniques. But before we do, let's get ourselves warmed up. I hope you've already done a warm up. I'm thinking we're going to do some more of those windmill push ups because I like them a lot. So, join me on the floor. Are you ready? Itch. Knee. Sun. Shoot. Go. How are you going? Broken. Ooh, you're over balance. Sitch. Hutch. Cool. Excellent. So, first of all, I'm going to move a little closer. We're going to do a little exercise called sticky hands. Um, if you've been in class, you would have known, you would, you'd be familiar with this one. But we're going to do it with ourselves. A lot of the blocking techniques are not just percussive, knocking away. I mean, that, that is part of it, most certainly. But often we want to block and grab so that we control our opponent. Okay. So, what we're going to do is we're going to grab our wrist and grab our wrist like so can you see that lift your fingers up turn them over the other side and grab our wrist and then turn them over the other side and grab our wrist it's important when you do the grab that your thumb is on one side and your fingers are on the other up over down 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 It's a, it's a simple little exercise, but it's one that if you if you get into it and practice on a regular basis will give you excellent dividends later on. Because suddenly you'll be going block, grab, and it'll just become part of what you do. Your body will connect and you'll grab. Yeah. Ah, I got my fingers caught. That can happen. So remember that it's up and it's down. Excellent. Alrighty, we're going to move into what's called circular blocks today. So let's step out into a forward lean stance because it's a really good stance for training in. And we're going to start with our outer block. So again, I'm not going to be going too much through the, the technicalities of the blocking. We've already done two videos on that. Um, but out of block, you're so to look here. So remember, two, one fist, two fists, looking across the top and down the center of your body. So here's the block, and then we're going to rotate it through, and block, and rotate it through, and block. And see how I'm doing my body turn with the block? And it becomes a rotation. And the, the point of the rotation of the arm is that you're going block, grab, and you've got them by the hand, and you're turning them around. So there's actually movement. You're opening them up for a follow-up kick or a strike or something. Block, rotate. So you're not just going. Okay. Block. 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 Other side. Block. 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 See how I'm almost brushing my knees. The full range of motion. So, both sides, and we're turning with the block. One step backwards. See, I'm alternating my side. Excellent. 
Excellent. That's so to uke. So, block and round, block and round. Now we're going to do ushi uke. So, once again, back into our forward leaning stance, our Zen Kutsudachi, just for a second, check. Can you see your toes? If you can, lean that forward a little bit more on your knee. Alrighty, so, once again, armpit, wrist, snap around. Alright, so there's our block. One fist, two fist, looking across the top. We go bang and around. Bang and around. Bang and around. Bang and around. Block and around. Block and around. Block and around. Block and around. Block. And again, I'm generating my, my momentum by, by rolling backwards. There's my block with the snap. Block. Block and around. Block and around. Block, grab, twist. Block, grab, twist. Block, grab, twist. One step backwards. Block and around. Block and around. There's that brushing of the knee. Block and around. The brushing of the knee movement is something that pops up in kata and in a, a number of techniques. So it's, some, it's a movement that you'll just get used to. Block and around. Block and around. Block. Excellent. Block. 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 Excellent. Alright, so that's our Soto Uke, our Ushi Uke. Now we're going to do our Jodan Uke, our upwards block. So, once again, back in our stance. I'm going to rock backwards, cross our, our wrists, come up and snap it into position. Remembering that we're looking just below our wrist and then our forearm is on an angle pointing down towards the elbow and the block should be directly in front. Um, just as a slight aside, I've noticed over the years a really interesting flaw in the way that this block is sometimes created. Uh, sometimes people do this and that, that's not helping anybody at all. With this block, it comes up across your body. And with the circular block and bringing it around, that actually really helps because it positions the hand down here and draws it up to your body. Up and around. Up and around. Notice how I'm rotating backwards towards the back knee with the rotation. Sorry about that. My phone turned off. All right, where were we? I think we were here, yes. So. We're doing our upward block with the rotation. Up and around, up and around, up and around. One step backwards, other side. Up and around, 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 up and around. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. One final block, and that's our lower block, our get down, okay. So, once again, we are hand on our shoulder, hand down, throw it backwards, down, bring it around, and up, and down, around, up, and down, around, up, and down, around, up, and down, around, up, and down. One step backwards, down, around, Again with the rotation, boom. The rotation follows the curve of the hand. The circle it makes is mirrored in the circle that you are rotating through with your legs. Boom. 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 It's pretty cool, eh? The thing I like about the, the, the lower block also has sort of a, uh, an outer block. Lower block, outer block. Lower block, outer block, lower block. They, they kind of go together. It's kind of fun. Alrighty. So, practice those. Um, with all your blocking techniques, 
um, you're trying to get a flow with your movement. You don't want to just step, block. Yes. You want flow. So you want to be stepping, blocking, moving, hitting, blocking, moving, moving, always moving, always moving, because if you are always moving, you're harder to hit. All right. Thank you very much. Um, well done, everybody. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you learned something. Um, and I'll um, see you next time on Sensei's Backyard Dojo. Hey, it would be great if you guys could post some videos of yourself going through some of these techniques. It would be encouraging to me. It would be encouraging to your fellow students. Um, yeah, that's all I'm going to say. I'll catch you around. See you next time. Get together. Hey. Yoi. Well done.